<clears throat> hey everybody, welcome to another video review. So um, today or tonight, I'm going to uh, focus the next couple videos on you know some of my Blood Rage miniatures. So I got a nice little batch of them in just recently from um, you know Roglin Studios, a Robert Carlson from Sweden. And if you follow my channel, you'll know that he's uh, been painting some of my Blood Rage uh, miniatures for the past. Oh no, probably over a year or so. Um, it's a very big project. There's uh, about 50 miniatures total. And he's obviously, you know, he's very busy. Um, he does a lot of <clears throat> professional work for various companies. He has a lot of other people who commission his work. And so, um, you know, he takes his time with um, my stuff and I'm more than willing to wait. And so we kind of accumulate the minis as we uh, go along. And so he painted a nice batch of them and he you know, got around to shipping them for me. And uh, so I'm pretty excited. I'm going to be reviewing them one by one, um, kind of just talking about them, showing you a lot of the finer detail. Um, and uh, you know, it was a little bit nervous business, I'll tell you, because you know, with the COVID-19 um, pandemic, shipping was just really really difficult and so um as you can imagine these little miniatures are very tiny uh seven of them fits into a little tiny box and um it sat in the uh it sat in the chicago custom station for like no joke a full 14 to 15 days in a row uh just because of sitting there stuck there um and you know while they're they're small, you know, you can see that they're little beautiful works of art and, um, you know, they, they cost a pretty penny uh, all put together. And so you can imagine it was very nerve wracking imagining this little tiny box filled with my little tiny treasures, literally just sitting in a gigantic custom house waiting to be delivered. So it was a pretty huge relief that it was finally, um, you know, got to my place. And so I'm pretty excited because, um, I've been waiting for some of these miniatures for you know quite a while, so now we have that out of the way. Let's uh, let's talk about this miniature. I'm gonna be doing a, a new way of uh, reviewing. You know, I actually have a little lamp, well, like a xenon light source, and so it's up overlooking this little miniature. So hopefully we get a little bit brighter light and we can actually see some uh, more details. I'm just doing it over my wooden kitchen table. Uh, so anyways, this is the, um, the Wolf Clan leader. So in the Blood Rage board game, you have uh, eight soldiers, okay, um, and two types. You have four soldiers of each type. So there's uh, two miniatures to um, represent the uh, soldiers, and there's four of each type. And then you have a little ship, and then finally you have the, um, the clan leader. So there's nine soldiers per clan. There's one clan leader. And there is um, there are uh, uh, eight total soldiers. So uh, this here is the wolf clan leader. Uh, you can tell because uh, he has um, a beautifully painted uh, wolf, and each leader has a totem pole, which uh, sets them apart from their soldiers. So um, here he is. And I'm gonna to try to go a little bit close. It'll be a little bit tricky. I think this is the best uh, distance to, sh to view it. You can see the beautiful paint job that Robert did on the, on the wolf. And then you can see the, the little um, fur, the red fur flying in the wind. And then of course you can see the NM, NMM effect, uh, non-metallic uh, metal effect on the sword. And then close up, I'm trying to move a little bit so you can actually see. You can take a look at the face, the effects on the hair. Love the green tunic. And of course, all the beautiful texturing. You can see the scabbard. And then of course, the, the leather and the metal armor. So, you know, these paint jobs, uh, you know, cost a little bit. And sometimes, you know, it is um, interesting to think about because, you know, this is such a small little plastic figurine. 
and you compare it with like a gigantic, say, statue or something like that. But you know, art is art, no matter how big or small. And I think I've, I've proven that. Uh, and the amount of work and the amount of craftsmanship that goes into um, putting in all these subtle layers uh, onto something so tiny is actually pretty uh, breathtaking. And part of the reason, by the way, that I do these um, videos, at least for the minis, is yeah, I know I, I want to show them off and talk about them, review them, but another part is to actually enjoy them later on myself because I think that the camera actually catches details that the human eye, like my eyes, can't really even appreciate. I would have to put on like my loops or, you know, put on a magnifier. Um, you know, it, it, he uses one to paint it. And so, like I said, you have to actually almost use one yourself in order to appreciate all the work that he has done. So take a look here at the base, very nice base, rocky. So he changes it up a little bit sometimes, you know. Um, so sometimes, you know, he is, uh, uh, he gives you a little green. Sometimes he gives you a rock. So there you go. Here you have it. Pretty awesome. Very nice. This is the Wolf Clan Leader by Robert Carlson from Rogland Studios. So I hope you enjoyed that and then we're gonna do a couple more videos coming up. Until next time, take care and here he is. Look at how big, look how small he is. He's about the size of my thumb, but Again, as they say, it's not the size that counts, right? All right beautiful work.